Hello and welcome to the Anaita Speaker Series presented by Carnegie India, celebrating stirring stories of empowerment, struggle and success from women professionals in different fields across the globe. Stories we hope are bound to inspire young professionals. I'm Hiral Dathwani, currently with the Communications and Development team at Carnegie India. Today, we're delighted to welcome Kamini Sahani, the, f- the first director of the Museum of Art and Photography, MAP, in Bangalore. With her passion for art and culture, Kamini has brought together a young, inspired group to create a new museum experience for audiences in India. In her earlier role, Kamini served as the head of the Jangi Nicholson Art Foundation, Mumbai, formerly known as the Prince of Wales Museum. Kamini's journey also includes a successful career as a journalist and television anchor, where she reported on a wide range of events, from politics to culture, as the Bureau Chief of NDTV Mumbai. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Coming on to my first question, um, could you take us through your early journey as a journalist and shed light on your transition from media to art and culture? Were there any early experiences or influences that shaped your love for art and photography and eventually led you to pursue a career in this field? Um, I first began actually my journalistic career with Doordarshan when Bhaskar Ghosh was at that time the, uh, the director general of Doordarshan and he wanted to do a professional kind of recruitment. So here all of us came on into a government institution hoping to change things and we really we really were able to do quite a bit when he was uh, was heading the institution. Um, and it also taught us to work with a lot of challenges because as you can imagine, reporting um, news is something that's quite political. And at the same time, there were so many pulls and pushes. I think we developed resilience. We developed the ability to balance um, many um, changing factors. And then uh, what was most exciting was actually uh, working on election uh, news coverages. And that was when I first uh, interacted with Pranoy Roy when I reported for him from Doodarshan for the first election coverage that he did from Bihar. And um, when he uh, started a, a, daily, a daily news channel, he invited me to join. And um, that's when really uh, it, it, it opened up whole avenues for me. It was so exciting. Um, this was the first time that actually um, journalists were going out and asking questions that mattered, especially on television. People were so used to government kind of news that they, d- they had received so far. Um, and NDTV was, it was really a, a place for excellence. Um, it pushed us uh, to perform to the best of our ability. It was work 24 7 i never knew when i'd be back home or whether i'd be back home that night there could be people for dinner but i would have to maybe fly to to latour because there was an earthquake or or maybe have to fly to nepal because um there had been a a disaster there uh there were just it was just an exciting life and the unpredictability was was even more exciting and um, I, i came to bombay at a time um when i took over uh, in Bombay, it was it was changing. It, Bombay was changing so dramatically. The Shiv Sena had just come into power. This was after the Babri Masjid demolition and um, the um, riots that followed, and then the bomb blasts. So there was a lot happening. There was this nexus between the building and uh, the uh, underworld and the building uh, uh, lobbies. So. Um, it was a place of great churn, lots of things were happening, it was an exciting moment and I learned so much. Could you tell us about some unique exhibitions or collections that MAP has curated or maybe you know something that highlights the museum's commitment to presenting a range of artistic voices? Okay, first let me tell you about the collections of MAP actually because we have six categories. It's loosely divided into these. Uh, it has pre-modern art, it has modern and contemporary, uh, textile craft and design, photography, um, indigenous art and popular culture. And I think what's really um, special about MAP is most museums have uh, say uh, classical art perhaps and modern contemporary, but very few have uh, indigenous art or popular culture. And the idea was to collapse these hierarchies between what is perceived as high and low art and to draw connections across the collection. 
so that when people come into the museum they see ah there's a part of my life reflected in this space and they are able to connect and so one of the exhibitions i think that is important is is the permanent exhibition that we have at map called visible invisible a uh, representation of women in art through the map collection and um it and we decided that usually permanent exhibitions have the highlights of the collection but we decided that it's important besides showing the highlights of the collection to also pick up on issues that are important to the community and so we decided to explore gender issues um because we felt that there were many factors that that prompted us to do this one of course was the fact that in 2020 women had really fallen out of the labor force it was they were down to 20% little girls had fallen out of the education system it was a time of the pandemic and of a study by statista.com uh, told us that india was the most dangerous country for women to be in based on a whole set of parameters so we said this was an important issue that we should focus on and so visible uh, invisible really looked at the paradox of how visible women have been in art over the centuries but how invisible they are in the public domain and while they may have been the central subject of art um they had very little agency over the nature of that representation because the image builders were largely male yeah so that is one of the exhibitions i think that um we really try to raise issues that were important and the exhibition is not seen as an end in itself it's seen as a start of a whole process we hope it will be a catalyst for change because it 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 does not lecture people instead it raises a series of questions that ask you to um to think about preconceived notions that we may have inherited or patriarchal norms that we take for granted and to ask and and, and to activate a kind of change a social change a cultural change using art what role do you think women have in the art and history space like especially you know um how can women flourish in this space or like artists as museum curators how women as subjects are portrayed through art history and culture can you tell us a bit more on that yeah i think if you for example if you look at how women are portrayed in art it usually reinforces certain stereotypes yeah or it's usually the male gaze that's representing um so we just take these for granted we don't question them for example if you look at the mother and child that is um that is an image that that has been used not only in india but over, across cultures so the mother and child always represents the male child so the question we are asking is where is the female child in all this um she's not she doesn't figure she rarely figures and so we describe this as the violence of invisibility when you invisibilize a part of your population so that they don't even uh, enter your consciousness and um and we also um through this exhibition we really looked at how um despite the kind of, of representation of women we look look at also struggle and resistance how women artists who had who had been on the fringes of the art movement for many years despite the amazing work that they had done innovative work that they had done they slowly began to find agency so during the 70s they began to find a voice they emerged from the the margins to take hold of the of the narrative and then to start telling us how they perceive themselves how they would like to be perceived and i think there's incredible work to today being done by so many women artists that is really moving the needle on attitudes on 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 uh, pers- uh, perspectives and how we view uh the you know the whole creative field and what's being produced today and i think that was started by the gorilla girls when they the first uh, asked this question does a woman have to be naked to enter the met and the fact that women artists were hardly represented in collections across across the world or in exhibitions across the world and we are seeing such a change now and i i think that's really um hope for the better because uh, we are seeing um women find agency and 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 far better able to represent their point of view and we're seeing far more work as well in the space thank you thank you kamini ma'am for being with us here today and sharing such valuable words thank you here for a lovely conversation